Hi everyone, this is Jason with Preston Street Market. And today I am back with another um, subscriber consignment um, jewelry unboxing. Um, I've already removed the um, label to protect the um, name. Um, so this is from one of my regular consigners. Um, this opportunity is available to anyone who um, wishes to send in their jewelry for me to sell on consignment. Um, so we'll get right into it. Um, if you are interested in consigning jewelry with me, um, my contact information is in the description of this video. And um, you just sit, shoot me an email and I will be happy to work with you. So if you have not subscribed, given us a like and a follow, please do so. And let's get right into it. I am excited to see what she sent this time. All right. Okay. It's icy cold here in Texas. Very unusual. We only get typically two or three days of actual winter, which is great because I hate the cold weather. Absolutely hate it. So, all right. So it looks like we have some silver tone bracelets. Um, they're not Alex and Ani. They look like little, some of them, well, they all say B. I don't think that that's Brighton, but I'll check and see. I don't believe they're Sterling either, but those are pretty and all look to be different. So that's cool. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, I see some pretties. I see some pretties. Ooh, this is a beautiful um, artisan style piece. Let's get this on the bust and so you guys can see it a little bit better. Look how pretty. It's gorgeous. Definitely an artisan um, piece, artisan made. Um, I don't see a cartouche. Let's look on the back. Don't see anything back here, but this is really, really gorgeous. Somebody's going to enjoy that. Very pretty. Oh. All right. So this is a sort of gunmetal long, um, Aldo. Okay. Sort of a long gunmetal um, necklace. Okay. So some sort of bead. I'm not exactly sure. It's not, I don't believe it's a gemstone. It's not cold, but I will look into it. And if it is a gem, we'll do, we'll um, test it, sell it. All right. Got several pieces here. Tangles. We've got tangles. Some pretty pieces. I'm going to set them aside and I will go through them off camera. All right. With some little fuchsia stone earrings. These look like these might be sterling. Of course, I'll have to test and see. Pretty earrings. And then these are cute. Little locking um, earrings. Those look like they, that might be a swan. I'm not sure. These might be Swarovski. I'll have to check and see. Have to um, test them. All right. Let's keep going. All right. That's definitely, yep, you can see the 925. That's beautiful sterling with peridot, um, topaz, amethyst, garnet, um, citrine. It's got everything. Beautiful gemstone uh, bracelet. Very lovely. Oh, really pretty Native American sterling silver, turquoise, bear claw earrings. Those are pretty. 
And this is a sort of tribal style um, piece. Ah, so that's where that little stone goes is on this. Okay, so this is a um, little tribal piece. I'll try to fix that and put it back um, together. Looks like we have some sterling. This feels like sterling. Of course, we'll test it and make sure. Very, very pretty. Hope everybody's doing great. All right. So, these are stone of some kind. So pretty black. Um, I just don't know. Some sort of stone. It actually might just be... Um, uh, like a magnesite or... Um, my mind is going blank. Howlite. That has got some sort of black covering on it. I'm not sure. There's no cartouche, so no idea who made it. But it is very nice. I think someone will appreciate it. All right. Very pretty, long, long gold tone um, necklace. Sweater length necklace. No marks. Really pretty beads there. Very nice. Mm. Well, this is gold. Pretty sure this is gold. Gonna be hard to see. Um, yep, this looks like um, Black Hills gold. And then, oh yeah, this is definitely gold. All right, nice. So you can probably kind of see there, they're usually 12 karat. Um, but I'll test this and um, look again off camera. But that's lovely. Somebody's going to love it. All right. We have a gold tone chain. Well, actually, we have a 14K. Look at that. I knew it had to be something good. It just feels so silky. Look at that beautiful. Gosh, those beautiful links are gorgeous. Love them. Beautiful, beautiful necklace. Well, this is a surprise. I didn't know that she was sending gold. Most of the time, um, since this consigner who sent this in, um, she's been with me for a while. So she doesn't really send me a lot of pictures anymore because she knows what I like. Um, so when I first, if you decide to consign with me, when we first begin working together, I will have to have pictures. That way, nobody's time is wasted. Um, all right, Brighton, beautiful crystal earrings. Really, really nice. Oops. Twinkle Tanzanite. Okay. Really pretty. All right, Windsor crystal. Some sort of kind of crystal or glass earrings. All right, now this is pretty. It's got some wear and tear on it. Um, I don't think this is sterling. Um, just simply due to the wear that's on here, you wouldn't typically see that with sterling. But it's a nice little charm bracelet. Oh, this is pretty. Let's have a look at this. Let's look at the cartouche. I'm going to cheat. Oh, this is Kate Spade. Yes, it is. Look how gorgeous. Well, there we go. Look how gorgeous. Really pretty. Kate Spade gold tone crystal necklace. That's lovely. Lovely, lovely. Okay. This says the garden. The garden. So I don't think it's sterling or anything like that, but it's got a nice little um, 
disco ball here. Actually, oh, it says Swarovski. I don't know if you guys can see. Look there. See there, it says Swarovski. So this is like, I guess, a Swarovski crystal necklace. And it looks like we have earrings to match. So that's a really nice set. You know, Swarovski has beautiful jewelry. Beautiful, beautiful jewelry. All right. So we have a, this is a sterling chain. It is a little tangled. So I'll work on that tangle off camera. We have a Florida lay. That is also sterling. It's 925 and then it's signed with a Z. So that's nice. Then we have a beautiful piece here. This is gorgeous. Hmm. Well, that's a premier design. That's kind of shocking because this pendant is so nice. I'm not saying that their jewelry is bad, but I don't typically sell their, their things. It usually goes into a lot, but this one's quite nice. Very, very nice. Oh, let me show you guys the box. I'm sorry. It is packed and it's very heavy. Look how much stuff is in there. Boy. It's going to be a good long video. All right. So this is gorgeous. Look at that. Really pretty. And it does look like it's got a signature. Trafari. All right. So that's a that's a nice Trafari piece. That I you know I have not seen Crown Trafari. That's a nice older piece. Really, really pretty. Really striking. I like it. I like it. All right. Oh little articulated snowman brooch. Eisenberg Ice. I love Eisenberg jewelry. So Eisenberg Ice is a little bit newer, um, but still can carry a, a, you know, a pretty decent price tag. That's gorgeous. All right, pet friends. Jewelry for parents. Jewelry for pet parents. All right, that looks like sterling to me. I'll have to test it. Oh, maybe not. It was only $13. But I'll test this just to make sure um, and see if it is sterling silver or not. All right. Let's keep going. Oh, this is pretty. Let's see. That says, I don't know if you guys can see, that's Napier. Sorry, this new phone is, the zoom is not that great, but this is Napier, really pretty um, crystal uh, necklace, very pretty. And a single Malachite earring. We'll see if we can find the, the mate might be in here somewhere. All right. Ooh, this is pretty. This is an oldie right here. Ooh, sterling silver, very old. So this chain does definitely not go with it. All right, so have a look at that. So this is halite that's been dyed turquoise, or it might be magnesite, but that's definitely like an old pawn, very thick and heavy um, piece. I'll take this chain off because... I think it's distracting. Um, this piece will sell better on its own without that chain. Or I might have a sterling chain that I can add to it. So we'll see. All right, we have a couple of hematite necklaces here. Very pretty. These are freezing cold. Let's see, let's see. I spy a pretty. Now look at this, and look at the closure. These look like brushes, they're little combs. This is, 
Oh, it goes this way. This is gorgeous. I'm not exactly sure how this closure is supposed to work, but I'm sure there's a rhyme and reason. But this is really pretty. I have to look into that some more. Hmm. Pretty, pretty. Oh boy. So this looks like some Halloween. Oh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, these are Disney. Okay. So these will make a nice little lot. Ouch. Little Disney pens. In there. And we have some more Halloween pieces. Oh, they're signed. Let's see if I can get this off easily. So I have some good, um, so these are signed, but I just cannot see. I, that one is not, it looks like this one has a cartouche right there in the middle and it looks like it's, um, Dane craft. Um, but I will, um, take my time and, and undo these and, and check them out. So very cool. I do have some mystery boxes coming up that you guys will like to see, I'm sure. Ministry of Magic. Uh-oh. So these, oh, Harry Potter. Okay, so these are some Harry Potter and just some miscellaneous Disney pins. Oh, look. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Disney is still um popular amongst people, amongst my customers. Um, and on whatnot, there is a big following for Disney um, collectibles. So, all right, let's go. Ooh, beautiful, look at this. This is definitely Czechoslovakian, super old. It's got a little bit of verdigris but I can try to clean that. But just look at these beads, look. You see the air bubbles in there? Beautiful, beautiful, old, old, old beads. This is probably 1930s, 1940s. Stunning. Needs a little cleaning, but that's okay. I clean everything. All right, this looks like an artisan piece, but these are crystals. Really nice crystals, multicolor. I'll get those cleaned up, looking good. All right, this looks like a sterling toggle clasp. I'll have to test it and make sure, but these are beautiful beads. These are like a cat eye here. These, I'm thinking, are just glass, but I'll hit them with the Presidian just to see. I love um, those necklaces. Mm -mm. What do we have here? What do we have? All right, let's look at this one first. Okay. Well. All right. So we have a sort of purple. Um, these are just little acrylic um, pieces. No cartouche, but that's nice. A beautiful brooch. Beautiful gold tone. I'm not seeing a signature. But there's the front. Very nice. All right. Elephant. So this is probably um, India. Made in India. Sort of molded. Um, brass. Probably uh, started as copper over brass. But older. So it's pretty worn. Ooh. I like I like the looks of this. You know, big gaudy gold tone jewelry has made a comeback. And I, I just love this. So here's the closure. It is definitely vintage, beautiful gold tone. I love those little filigree style beads, faux pearl. Very pretty sweater length um, necklace. All right. 
Prince. All right, so this has got some age. There's the closure. I'm not seeing a name, but those are really pretty beads. Starfish. I don't see a signature of any kind, but again, nice long sweater length. This looks like Swarovski, let's see. Oh, Avon, okay. That's okay though. So Avon, and these are like, um, mm, these have like an AB coating, and then this is a um, sort of amethyst. That's very pretty. Really pretty rose quartz heart pendant. The silver tone chain. I don't think this is sterling. No. But that's a nice piece of rose quartz. All right. She packed in all the goodies. Oh, this is great. This is lovely, lovely. Look at that old closure right there. So this is probably Lisner not marked it's probably Lisner but very Hollywood Regency beautiful um, Baroque textured pearls faux pearls and pretty gold tone and then there's some AB um, stones there I love that let's see let's see let's see all right that's a nice big closure so this is silver tone with some um, faceted crystal Let's see, this is giving me sterling vibes, but I just don't know. And these are really nice crystal pieces. Um, it's interesting. I'll test that and see if it maybe is sterling. All right, we have a gold tone chain signed with an M. Um, it's not gold, I don't believe. Um, maybe gold filled. Uh, I'm not sure what that M stands for. Maybe Monet, I'm not sure. I'll look further into this one. Have a textured gold tone, Sarah Coventry brooch. Oh, that's pretty, very pretty. It's like faux opal, nice AB. It's not signed, but that's okay. I love it, and I know somebody else will love it too. Let's see. I always like to look at the back first, so no markings. Oh, but that's really nice. Really pretty, has these uh, crystal rhinestones there. A Little bit of verdigris, but not horrible. I can try to clean that off. All right, so we have an enameled ring. Like a pebble stone sort of look to it. I don't see any makers and makers marks there. Another ring. This looks like a premier design ring. Costume. Uh-oh. Okay, this one's Sarah Coventry. All right, it's got a... Oops. Oh, you can see there it's got some wear. It's got some wear here and some wear up there. Sarah Cove. Now, that's a nice vintage piece. That's actually like an inset wood texturing. That's very cool. Very, very cool. All right. So, we have a pair of, let's see, enameled, sort of a pretty shimmery enameled earrings. Well, it doesn't want to stay in my hand. Very pretty pair. 
So we have a gold tone brooch, unsigned. Okay, these are very vintage. Let's see, can I get it off? They're probably Roman. Yep, they're Roman. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, the zoom on here just does not work as well. But these are nice. People like these faux pearl dangles. So we have a pair, that's great. All right, so we have some black and white with some clear stone. These are more modern earrings. That's a pretty ring. It's costume, but I think it is signed. Let me look. No. It's just got the number and printed indicating the size. It's size six. That's nice. Have another um, costume ring. I think it says something right there, but I can tell you this is not sterling. No, it doesn't say 925. And even if it says 925, that doesn't always mean it's sterling. All right, so we have another chain here. Let me see. My first thought is sterling, but I'm just not sure. It's not marked. Oh, there's some verdigris on it. Yeah, so this is a silver tone chain, not sterling. I see verdigris, so that's an indicator that it's definitely not sterling. So these are silver tone um, earrings. We have a pair of little gold tone hoop, huggy hoops. And then we have some miss unmatched earrings here. So I'll set those aside and see if maybe we find them. All right, watches. Now from this consigner, I will I will accept watches, um, but I need to see them first. This consigner knows what to send, so um, it's fine for that. Okay, that's a nice Michael Kors, really nice Michael Kors watch. Those have been selling pretty well lately. This is a fossil, nice silver tone watch. Bulaba, definitely vintage. It's a nice shape, a leather band. It says Duco, D-U-C-O. All right, this looks like an unbranded, it's a little fashion watch. Right. Oops. Sorry, the glare. All right. So that's that's a decent watch. Um, good rule of thumb is if they're not running, I'm not going to change the batteries unless it's a you know really good watch. All right. So that's sterling. I I think that's how you say it. And this is Swiss made. So anytime you see Swiss made. Swiss made or automatic, that's usually an indicator of a good watch. That's a good watch. Won't bring a huge amount of money, but it's a good watch. All right. She sends all kinds of little treasures. All right. Orion. It's like a little enameled um, little airplane um, pen. That's cute. All right, this is a gold tone tie bar, I think is what this is. I am going to do my due diligence and check and make sure if it's gold. Probably is not. Um, it's tie clips that's signed all over the place. Let's see, can we zoom? Yeah, it's not gonna zoom. Oh boy, okay. So these are Hickok. So these are not uh, gold, these are just gold tone and they're actually not even a match set. So we set those aside. This is a um, fashion ring, you can see the wear there. 
It's just fashion. That's okay. Now, this is pretty. Little enameled heart, and it's signed 925. I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but I'll test it just to make sure. But a nice little charm or um, small pendant. Um, it's cute. Okay, Spidel Vintage Watch. Oh, look, that one's working. That's got a little bit of age to it. And then finally, we have a quartz watch that's also working. It's like a Geneva quartz watch. All right. Let's see what's in the box. So it says gratitude. I'm not seeing any kind of signature. This is very likely um, oh, that's got some wear. This is very likely an artisan piece. Set that aside. All right, Monet. Oh, pretty little hummingbird. Somebody will like her. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. How do I pull this one out? She packs so well. But I have to be careful pulling. Oh boy. Now these, I did see a few pictures of them before they were sent. Okay, so this is Sterling. Beautiful repoussé style Sterling. I'll get this cleaned up, shined. I use these polish... Um, these sort of little polish cloths, not the typical kind, but I use a, um, it's like a Clorox wipe, but it's to clean sterling with, and they are wonderful. All right, so this is Running Bear. Yep. Running Bear Sterling, beautiful, beautiful turquoise cuff. This is just stunning. Look at that. Now it does have a nick right there where the turquoise has chipped off. That'll hurt the value a little bit, but you can't really see it. Um, but anyhow, that is an outstanding piece. Running Bear, Navajo, beautiful cuff bracelet. And then it looks like See what that bag says after a while. All right. Stunning old pond. Oh, that's running bear also, I believe. Yeah. Beautiful running bear turquoise pendant, sterling silver. Absolutely wonderful. I might have a thick silver chain I can add to this. I'll have to check and see. I love this. Beautiful sterling. Uh oh look at this beautiful gold stone i think this is sodalite very very chunky sterling silver beautiful beautiful silver and beautiful gemstones that's a good one Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right. So this says, enjoy the journey. Nice chain. Mm. I'll have to test this. I'm not seeing a mark that says silver, but that means absolutely nothing because sometimes marks rub off. Um, so I'll test this and see if it is sterling. <clears throat> Ooh, this is pretty. All right, that's Silpata. So that sort of triangle, you see those triangles or partial triangles, that mark right there is for Silpata. And these are genuine stones. So that's turquoise. Um, 
I don't know why my mind is going blank with that. This is amber. Really pretty amber. Look at that. Beautiful turquoise. This is a raw, might be a quartz. And this may be tiger. I, I, I'm not sure tiger. I, I think this is some sort of agate. But this is stunning. Absolutely beautiful. And then we have a little hang tag here. What do you say? Are you going to cooperate? Diaderma. That's Italy. And so these are um, just glass pearls, but set in sterling. And it has little, looks like little crystals. Nope, not little crystals. So this is a nice sterling um, faux pearl necklace. Where do I start? Where do I start? I'm starting with you. Look at that coral. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is old. Look at that back. This is definitely sterling. We'll test it to make sure, but that's just beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. So we have some stretchy bracelets here. Um, some little enameled beads, um, little crystal faceted crystal um, beads there. Let's see. This is alpaca. So alpaca is not sterling. Alpaca is just um, a, a lower grade silver. But um, somebody will like that. It's pretty. Kind of mid-century. <clears throat> so that's a really nice artisan style closure and I'm pretty sure it's sterling. And those are um, amethyst uh, chips there. That's really nice, really pretty. So um, a stretchy sort of tribal little bead with um, wood um, there. Let's see. All right, that's sterling. So sterling silver with some faceted crystals. Um, really pretty, this is probably an anklet. I'll have to measure it to see. Oh no, it, it's a bracelet. Well, you could wear it as a bracelet or an anklet. Totally up to you. All right, let's see. Let's be careful. Hmm. I'm not seeing a signature or a 925 the cuff part is hitting me as silver. The turtle is not, but I will test this to see if it is sterling. And if it is, that's great. And if it's not, somebody, that's still great. Somebody will love her. So cute. All right. This is a very old um, sterling silver pendant. This. I don't know if you can kind of see that sort of sheen over it. I'm not, this is not, um, looks like tiger's eye, but it's not. This might be some sort of, I don't know. I'm not sure what this could be. I'll hit it with the Presidian and see, but that's an old pawn, um, old uh, pendant. All right, we have a stretchy silver bracelet. I will check and see if that's sterling. All right, so we have some little seed beads here with uh, abalone, um, abalone or mother of pearl um, disc. It's cute. We'll try that and see if somebody somebody bites. Okay, these keep wanting to come out. So these say Israel. You know, Israeli silver is 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 quite nice. And that I'm thinking is a quartz and not a CZ, but I will test it and and see what it comes out as. But th that's really, really stunning. Oh, that's actually Silpata. Let me see, I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see the mark. 
So that sort of triangle, triangular mark right there is the Silpata mark. Um, but these are very, very well made. Um, very good sterling. All right, we have a little turquoise adjustable bracelet. These are authentic, genuine turquoise chips. So I'm going to try to run that through and see what happens. All right, so we have uh, silver. This is definitely sterling and malachite. You can tell by the patina on the silver. I will test it just to verify, but um, this is nice, quite nice. All right, we have some sterling here, sterling silver, vintage. It's like little um, marcasite um, earrings. Has some age. And then finally, we have a sterling silver 925 Italy. That's definitely an anklet. Um, I think it'll end up being around nine, so that's typically anklet size. All right. I'm going to go ahead and unwrap all of this it's out of the way. All right. Let's see what we've got. Pretties, pretties, pretties. All right. Oh, yeah, these are gorgeous sterling earrings. I'll test to make sure, but I'm, I'm um, fairly certain that these are silver. And I will test just to verify. All right, we have a sort of atomic style ring. I do not think this is sterling. No, it's um, a sort of a brassy silver tone over brass. Um, pretty worn. Ooh, look at that. That's probably Zuni. Definitely sterling silver. Definitely in the style of Zuni. Really, really striking. Keep dropping everything today. Beautiful piece. All right. Oh, a fork. A fork ring, but they've made it very abstract looking. And I think I see a sterling mark. Well, that's very interesting. Very figural, abstract. I like it. All right. We have... Okay, so I love this chain. I'll probably put this chain on that running bear pendant and take this one off and find another chain for this pendant. So that's beautiful. Sterling silver. That's probably a quartz. Let's see. We're signed. I don't think that's the Silpata mark. Um, I could be wrong have a look here yeah this is a really substantial nice chain so I am going to take this apart sell the pendant by itself or find another chain that's not so substantial all right some pretty earrings it's like um this is made to look like a mother of pearl but it's not it's um feels like some kind of acrylic um I'll test these to see if they're sterling since this seems to be a kind of sterling lot here. Oh, how pretty. Look at that purple jasper inlay. And these are marked. So that's Taxco. Very pretty. That's a substantial. Look how thick. A lot of nice sterling there. Beautiful Labradite. Definitely sterling. Definitely gorgeous. I mean, this is a beautiful, beautiful. I've always loved Labradite. So pretty. All right. So Repoussé, sort of filigree, sterling. I can tell those are sterling. Of course, I will test them before we sell them. So you can see the marking kind of right there. So we have some little stacked um, gemstone rings. That's probably like a jasper or a coral, um, a peridot, and then like a turquoise. Very pretty. Ooh, this is an oldie for sure. Let's see. Is 
Mexico. That might be Taxco. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look at the numbers and see what they say. But that's gorgeous. Very old piece. Beautiful. Oh. Okay, let's see. Are we sterling? It's not showing us sterling. So this is a little turtle um, bracelet or anklet. Um, you could wear it either way. Um, so I'll test this and see what it comes up as. And this video is getting a little long. I still have a little over half of this box to go. So I'm going to stop here and then I'll do a part two to show you the rest of the box. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, like, follow, leave me feedback, leave me comments. If you're interested in selling your jewelry with, with me, um, just reach out to me. My contact information is in the description. I hope you all stay warm. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope to see you again soon.